All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Beacon. It's a roguelike that I've actually been waiting for for like two years. I saw a screenshot of this game on Twitter, I think it was, just randomly. And it looked absolutely gorgeous, and I was like, holy shit, you know, I gotta play this. Okay, uh, let's see, let's basically skip the tutorial. I've already done it. Um, ah. Oh yeah. Uh, so I played a little bit of it just to get used to it, and honestly, there's some rough bits. There's platforming in this game, which I'm not entirely sure I agree with. Mainly because there's no dedicated jump button. You have to dash between them. That's a little weird. But apart from that, otherwise, it's a really good uh, roguelike. So it um, it plays like synthetic, if you guys saw any of that. Let's see. Can I? Do I have a master volume? Yeah, I'm going to crank this down to like half. It's a little bit loud. Okay. But yeah, so it plays like synthetic. It's an isometric uh, roguelike shooter. Oof. Okay, I'm going to turn the graphic settings down. Let's just try high. Okay, yeah, I did a test recording earlier, but that doesn't necessarily... Uh, that doesn't necessarily account for streaming on Twitch. Okay, that's, that's much smoother. Should be fine. Okay. But yeah, so it plays like synthetic, a little bit faster. Uh, but effectively, you crash landed on this world and you're trying to get out of here through the use of repeated clones. That's really all I know about it. So, the water tanks, standard water tanks equipped to all long distance Shoriteku interstellar spacecraft in transit. The tanks are equipped to provide water to a full crew for a period of, t a period of three months. Once in the atmosphere, they can be attached to a reclaimer unit to capture moisture from the air, prolonging the availability of water indefinitely. Uh, you get used to the metallic taste after a while. When I first started, I used to mix in other stuff to take the edge off. But now it's gotten so that normal water tastes weird to me. Just as well, I guess. Because this is what I'm going to be drinking for this foreseeable future. Okay. So you have unlimited ammo. And there are multiple guns, power-ups, bunch of things. And like a weird genetic system that we'll get into. I don't actually know if I have any equipped right now. Hopefully nothing. But anyway. Hey Freya, look. Just bear with me here. But this is you writing this, or, well, I guess a cloned version of the original you, because she died when the ship crashed in the side of this planet. Look, this is messed up, okay? I've had a look around outside the crash site, and I think I've got it started to get a handle on the situation. That's why I'm writing this down. I'm hoping this will get you up to speed. The ship is completely totaled. As you can probably see, the clone bay is still working, obviously, but pretty much everything else is either is or was on fire. The ship's distress beacon is gone, too. I was gone by the time I came out. Or it was gone by the time it came out. So I have no idea what happened to it. But listen, that thing is designed to survive crashes, so it's still got to be operational. As of right now, I'm still getting a signal for it on the locator, so I'm going to follow that. You'll see soon enough. But it's kind of a war zone out there. From, what I'm from where I'm standing, finding that beacon is literally our only hope to get out of here. I've seen enough dead versions of us to realize that I'm probably not going to be the one to make it. To be completely honest, you probably aren't either. But one of us will. We have to just keep going, okay? Keep trying. All right, nice pep talk. Nice pep talk. Good luck. Something about the font or the kerning in this game really sets off my dyslexia. I don't, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, so you've got a dodge roll, you've got a melee, you've got a bunch of things. I do have grenades, but you got. I only have two, so I don't, I don't use them often. And it's got this really no nice low poly look to it. I don't know. There we go. Tish Raptor egg. Item metadata not found. Scan results below. Primary components detected as organic matter identified as an egg of an Ulrex serpens genus. Unfertilized. Scans indicate the contents are safe for human consumption. Contents are extremely high in nutrients and should prove beneficial to human immune system for short duration. High levels of protein also provide additional energy. So increased speed and resistance for 8 seconds. Uh, so you get a lot of consumables over the course of the game that give you temporary bonuses or effects or whatever. I might actually be going the right direction, which I shouldn't do. Oh, we'll see. I'll wander around for a while. It pre-generate. It randomly generates maps from chunks, but it looks really nice. Like this feels. Ow! What did I? Okay, what was that? I don't know, but I should probably kill this thing. What are you? I don't know. They're exploding. We've got some robots coming in, too. Hopefully I can get some better weapons. I am not actually sure 
We seem to have found ourselves in some kind of event zone, which is new. I only played a little bit of this uh, when I was kind of doing testing to make sure it, wrote, it would record. And yes, Colin are jointing. I've already taken a screenshot of it to uh, send to Keith. So I guess you can go in this thing. You can't rotate the camera. I've already tried. I'm just going to keep wandering around so that uh, that green marker is our objective. So we kind of want to do everything else. We're looking for we're looking for a couple of things actually. So Oh, actually hit me. All right, whatever. Oh. Bug was coming after me too, whatever. Slime's not that bad. I think it I don't actually remember what slime does. Okay, we also have hive nectar, but that's not helpful. Okay. You know, I'm going to be working on a moat soon. You guys should remember, uh, remember, you guys should remind me to make a columnar jointing emote as well. Oh, we've got something up there, but it's not moving. All right. And this is the way I came in. There's another healing item, but I'm not too wounded, so I'm just going to wander around. Yeah, it looks like I lost all my power-ups. I might lose progress a lot on this game. Um, just because this is, uh, this isn't even available. Oh! Hello! That's incredibly convenient. I didn't even realize there was a map. I was just like, what happens if I press M? Uh, so this game is not on Steam yet. It is available for purchase, though. If you do want to, uh, pick it up, it's on, uh, Monolith's itch.io page. Which is where, like, the super in-development indie games whatever go. And so if you do actually think that this looks awesome, uh, head over there. I'll put a, I'll put a link to the... That sucker's throwing grenades at me. Ow! I think the enemies actually get, like, much more dangerous as we go along. Right now, they're just kind of Terminator automatons. Um... There's something up there. I think I'm gonna have to like climb up to it. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so this is super in development. Uh, they will probably wipe progress not infrequently, admittedly. Ooh, key. But that's okay. I this is one of those roguelikes where it doesn't bug me as much. It was more of a problem in like Moonlighter. I. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think I can climb. There are some spots where you are actually expected to, like, roll from platform to platform. I hope they actually just straight up add jumping to this game. Uh, it's a little weird that you can't. Okay, we've got some dudes there. Let me see. They can't reach me, so we got to figure out what, how to deal with those shipping containers. I don't know what this thing does. Oh, that was a grenade. Okay. So I can launch myself down there. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Whee! What do we have over here? Ow! Whoa! 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 Ah! Uh, there's like a crumb on my mouse pad right next to my middle finger and is. It is bad. All right, there we go. I did not see those guys coming in. All right, I should probably... I should probably actually use my consumable items. I certainly haven't been. Uh, let's see. Where's the thing I'm looking for? There's something here. Oh, some loot. Another grenade. I think I might have to raise this. I bet if we follow this, we find like a, a switch to bring it up. The one problem I do have is, uh, or one of the small problems I have is aiming is kind of weird. What is this? Oh, shipping platform discovered. But I don't think we actually got, got it open. Or did anything with it. No, there's something over there. Okay, there's an item. It's a... Focus Injector. Accuracy increased greatly. 16 second. 
Focus. Okay, never miss your mark. Up your game with a new Focus Injector from Enhanced Energy Products. Designed from, a, from the ground up for immediate in, extreme impact. The Focus Injector's secret formula gives you a boost to your own fine motor skills, making it perfect for taking down those hard-to-hit targets. What's more, with our patented blend of nutritious riboflavin, we've completely eliminated the next-day hangover, the Plague Competing Focus Products. Okay, yeah, I really should actually use some of these. Consumable items as I go along. Well, let's head this way, because there, there's a something... Ah! Whoa! Oh, I'm cornered. Okay. Well, I got my drugs. Stay away from Captain Fireballs. Okay, I think we're good. We actually came up with a net, net gain of health on that one. It was scary, though. I should remember to use some of these, uh, these healing items. Nope. Be nice if I could zoom out just a smidge. Alright, what do we got over here? As long as none of them ambush me from behind, we'll be okay. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. I don't even know where they came from. Come from. It'd be nice to know if I could actually like uh, counter ambush them and take them out before they come after me. But I'm not. I'm not betting on that uh, ability. Okay. What do we got over here? Uh, do I have a key? I do have a key. Okay. I'm afraid to... Woo! Rocket man! He's a little over-aggressive. Okay. We've got this. Drone LZ. Okay, looks like we're safe. Can I interact with this? Okay, so we got a bounce pad. We've got some things. Yeah, I like these little uh, handcrafted dungeons. More, uh... I'd actually love to see more roguelikes kind of take this this kind of uh, approach to level design. I've yet to see if this has, like, maybe exactly the power-up setup that I'm looking for. Okay, Containment Prism. Fully immobilizes a target, target invulnerable for the duration. Eh. Originally developed as part of an initiative to better detain civilian combatants non-lethally, the new containment prism is an absolute for any must, uh, absolute must for any conscientious corp. Ah, wow. Yeah, I can't read today at all. Okay, absolute must for any conscientious corp operating today. After activation, the prism will completely immobilize your target for a short time, keeping them safe and secure, and allowing you to use the pers you, you, bleh, allowing you the precious seconds needed to regain composure. Man, yeah, I, I just can't I can't word today, but th that's okay. Anywho. This game is pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love, like, cartoony, like, 2D art and stuff. But I'm equally a sucker for low poly. I don't know... I don't know exactly what sparked the trend. Um, like, which, which game really sparked the trend for low poly art in games? Whoa! Hi! But I'm really glad... I'm really, really glad that uh, they have been. Oh, also, I gotta reset my controls. Use item, I wanna switch that to left shift. Okay. How long does that last? Eh, fair while, fair while. Okay, gotta watch out for the Thunder Chargers. Looks like these guys just charge at you, though. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. Yeah, those turrets don't last very long. Hopefully I can find a new weapon along the way. Let's see, what happens if I... Well, we got a couple of things here. So what's this? A little bit of health. And we also get a Tesla injector. Limited stamina. Now, nah, let's go steroids. 
Low quality is a trend called amateur devs that don't want to go straight for realistic models. Uh, I guess? I... I don't know. Like, looking at this, I would not say that this is amateur in the slightest. I I will agree there are definitely some, um, some developers that rely too much on low poly to make their games... Uh, they, they go low poly even if it doesn't look very good. Uh, just because they can't make any better. But I would I would hardly say that this this game fits that. This game is pure pure beauty as far as low polys go. Uh, low poly artwork. Fuck. Ow. Ooh. Okay, let's take out the other guy while we're here. Okay, adrenaline injector increases your speed. I'm not even going to read these at this point. Yeah, I gotta remember to use those consumable items and my grenades. Whoop. Okay, that's just a storm. A little tornado, nothing to worry about. Okay. I've still got that shipping platform I'll have to check out. Oh, and that might be a gun box that I've missed. So let's roll back. Left a little bit of HP back here. Not much though. Ah! Damn it. Ugh. That sucks. These guys are fast enough that they can just hug you and smack you and you can't hit them because you end up shooting directly through them. What the? Ah! Alright, whatever. I do like the, uh... Thanks. I might die. You know, in retrospect, uh, stop, drop, and roll probably does apply to this game, and if it doesn't, it should. Okay, do we have anything useful over here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, shooting in melee is great. Yep. Did I get him? I think I got him. It would be nice if I could rotate my camera a little bit. Just because. Whoop. There we go. Got him. Got him. Wish these guys would drop health more often. Or if I had, like, just a smidge of health regen. Just a smidge. Doesn't, doesn't need much. I guess that would mean you could just, uh... That would mean you could just sit there and, uh... Wait for your HP to come back. I guess that's a bit of a detractor. Okay. So I don't know anything about that ammo box. So let's, let's just ignore that for a second. Yeah, what I... I think I need is a new weapon. Damn it. Okay, a little bit of health. Didn't kill this guy. Oh, good. That was a little bit more than a little bit of health. Got anything more in this? No. Okay, looks like that shipping container is empty. Ah. Oh. And that's actually the extent of it. All right, let's get out of here. I never did figure out if there was a way to interact with this. Like, it looks like I should be able to turn that on, but I don't see anything. Let's take this back. What the? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, those are the those are the guys on the inside of that shipping container set up. Hey, I got him. Hail Mary with a grenade worked out. Nope, oh, he got out. Is he dead? He's dead. Good. I don't know what that sound effect is. Worries me a little bit. So I have a gun box. Oh, but the gun box is up. How do I get up there? Because, yeah, there's no climb button. So, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to open it up, open up like the enemies are supposed to push through it. 
I guess I can just attempt to to squeeze through. Now, doesn't, doesn't look like I myself can go through, so we might be out of luck for now. Unless, what if? I bet I know. I bet I know how this works. There's something down there, but I don't think I can do anything with it. How about if I go over here? Because I never did actually use this. Yep, alright. I think this is the right place to go. Whoa! Jesus. That guy came in like a murder ball. Okay, where am I? I feel like I'm up higher. So, I might be in the right spot. Main problem is I'm almost dead. Oh, damn it. Oh, I pressed shift instead of space to roll. <sighs> Ow. This game's fun. It's kind of mean. It's fun. All right, so here's the here's the meta progression system for this game. Uh the way it works is after you die, you get uh you get these. Can I can I grab them? You're supposed to be able to grab these and slot them in, but it doesn't It's not Oh, wait, no, no. I didn't get any genome. Yeah, it's all empty. Uh so what you do is you find genome out in the field and it will uh uh you'll shoot you'll kill stuff out in the field, you'll get its genetics and then that changes your stats. And so I think the further you go the better stats you get and the stronger you get so it makes subsequent runs a little bit easier. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. Anywho. Let's see ancient fossil located. Oh. Let's see if I have a bit more luck this time around. And I'm better at dodging and things. I don't know, whatever. And you even use columnar jointing for platforming in this game. No doggy. I do wish some of the enemies would actually like fall over instead of just exploding. It's a little weird. Not that weird. Oh, hey. Whee! I dig the exploration elements in this game. If they wanted to turn this into a good collectathon, they totally could. A uh, little bit of health popped out, but I think it fell. Yeah, I don't see anything here. There's a couple other spots where you can, um, oh yeah. Oh, we're getting like one bit of health every single time we pop one of those. Well, it's worth it. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot to explore around here. Specifically this. Oh. Just a convenient little shortcut cave. But sometimes you'll ha have like uh, more of those randomly generated dungeons with items in them and stuff. It's uh, a neat system. I don't think I've ever seen a game that does something quite like this. Uh, at least not a roguelike. And so it makes the world feel that much more compelling. Usually, procedurally gener procedural generation in games is kind of a, um, I'm going to call it a black mark. You know, usually when you have, like, too much procedural generation, it's like, whoop. Oh, am I, oh. Oh. Uh, give me a second. We have encountered a bug. So the devs haven't put this on, uh... They haven't put this on Steam, and this isn't even early access yet. Oh, never mind. Yeah, kind of exactly that. There's a couple of bits here and there uh, that are a bit weird. I think I'm stuck. I might be able to get out, but I'm going to take a screenshot of it. I might just die. Thanks. Real helpful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super stuck down here. All right, note to self, avoid cr crevasses. At least, at least the game is solving my problem, which is specifically, it's just gonna kill me here, so I guess I'll take it. Yeah, so this is just a geometry issue. What they should, what they need to do is just put an invisible, you know, hitbox over it. This won't be a problem. 
Or just make it that your character will step up small inclines. That'd be nice too. Can I, can I die? No, I can't kill myself with grenades. Son of a poop. All right, uh, return to game, return to menu. I'll just see if I can uh, do a new game. Unfortunately, I think I'll lose my, uh, I'll lose any of my upgrades, but whatever. Yeah, jump button would solve it. Honestly, I think this game just kind of needs the jump button. Like I said, there are some platforming bits. And, uh, it would be nice if I could jump. They're probably just afraid of people trying to, uh, uh, they're probably afraid of people trying to, like, exit the world. And, like, scum their way up uh, sides of building, buildings and cliffs and whatnot. Which is, I guess, understandable. Okay. So this time... Let's check the map for a second. This time I might just beeline for the, uh... That hit me from there? That... I'm not so sure about that. The hitbox on those charges is a bit long. No health off of that. We want to go the other way. I want to see if I can get some loot here. Speaking of... If this is one of those situations where having a, a jump button would make perfect sense, but I, I don't see a jump. Map, reload, melee. Unless there was like... Nope. Try blowing them up. Yeah, they do look kind of vulnerable. Well, that was successful. Pays me in grenades and an adrenaline. Now let's keep the steroids. Okay, so not exactly the most helpful, but that's fine. The basalt forms could be blown up. Yes. So those were boxes. But it's good to know that I can blow them up. I haven't actually tried that yet. Or up until now, I guess. So I'm going to head for those marked power-ups first. Damn it. Oh. It's a... It's one of those, like, low cliffs that you can't walk up. That is not obvious right there. Alright, whatever. Let's see. So we've got some guns. We've got some stuff in this area. One of those speedy little suckers. Okay, that's some Gino. Uh, that's that's what I'm here to collect. Extra luck, minus health. That's a bit rough. I might go for it anyway. Uh, just because. I don't entirely know what luck does. Probably just informs what drops you get. Mainly, I will just gladly accept any any uh, luck-based upgrades that I can grab. All right, we've got something back over here. No. But, okay, there's an enemy down there. All right, stay away from the crevasses. I don't know what that noise was. Fractal death. Shot splinters, regenerating ammo, low ammo capacity. Part of the ongoing attempts to utilize the recovered tech from Redacted. Subject has been constructed for use akin to traditional shotgun that is intended for close combat situations. Careful power management and fine tuning has allowed us to generate energy spikes that are propelled out on firing. Though these quickly lose potency after covering a short distance. Should a target be hit before the spikes dissipate, however, the target is used as an auxiliary energy source, powering additional spikes that splinter outwards from the initial impact site, dealing additional if reduced damage. So I got Fractal Death. Cool. Now there's a thing here, but it doesn't look like it can do anything with it. There's something over here. But it doesn't look like that goes anywhere. I might be able to jump down. Hard to say. Oh, it's like a weird light shotgun. Damn it. 
I'm going to die just trying to trying to get on this. Ow. God damn it. All right, whatever. I'm here now. Where are we and where are we going? Whoa, that's weird. Oh. That's really weird. This is a weird weapon. Extra resistance, extra stamina. Okay, that kind of works. I don't know if I like it. It doesn't really pop shields off, and the regenerating ammo seems really wacky. I mean, I guess it's the same as reloading. You just have to wait for it instead of actively, preemptively reloading. That hit me? Ow. Taking a lot of hits from things today. Let's see, call lift. Sure. What else we got, got around here? Uh, you know, I never actually finished exploring the lower section either. I'm just gonna keep wandering around. I'm probably gonna die before I manage anything else. Nope! Okay, getting some health back and those guys just felt like blitzing me more than anything else. Okay. Well, all of this is concerning in a very weird strange way. I like it, though. Like, as far as uh, new roguelikes go, this one has both the... It almost feels like the longest to go, just in terms of, like, balance. Uh, but also, one of the better ones I've ever seen. It is very strange. And I would love to see more games kind of take a... Uh, take a cue from this one. It looks like I'm still headed for something. Okay, let's heal up. I've got plenty of grenades, and we've also got a focus inje injector. Probably not that necessary here. Okay, so what is this? Okay, Rapid Rocket Launcher. Low ammo count, slow reload, AoE damage, charge up to three shots. After introducing our popular R9 Rapid Rocket Launcher model, we received a great deal of feedback. Long story short, people loved it. They raved about the ability to control the number of rockets fired with each barrage. It was the first truly democratic multiple round rocket launcher on the market. There was just one criticism. It was too big, too powerful. It was difficult to fit in their busy, transitory lives. Introducing, then, a lightweight alternative, the R3 Rapid Rocket Launcher from Kaiser Schmid, using a new spooling mechanism to allow users to change their output on the fly. Users can charge their weapon to unleash between one and three mini rockets, depending on what the situation demands. The Kaiser Schmid Rapid Rocket Launcher, a travel-sized rocket launcher for the Merc on the go. I bet I've got some dudes coming in. Maybe? No, it looks pretty empty out here. Weird. Okay, well, my health's looking better than I thought it was going to. What do we have left? So we got this. I bet the... Yeah, we've been to the fresh water. There might still be something down there, so I'll double-check that when I go by. I gotta remember to use some of these grenades. I usually hoard them for when I need them. Which, for the most part, doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Now is this... Can I take this somewhere? I can. Where does this go? Hello. Bits of my ship. Oh, hi. Brass Beast. Let's get rid of Fractal De Death for the Brass Beast. Oh, that's some lightning. Yeah, fair warning for tonight. I got a thunderstorm outside, so I might actually uh, lose power. Might actually uh, cut the stream. We'll see. The world today is a complicated place. Technology, for all its benefits, can be confusing and fatal hurdle in the heat of battle. For those who are looking for something with a little bit more simplicity, we represent, or we present the Kaiser Schmidt K4 Riot Shotgun. Taking our cues from simpler times, the K4 is designed to solve your disputes up close and personal, with as much force behind each shot as possible. Don't like the face in front of you? Just one pull of the trigger and it's gone. With the K4's patented plasma spread, you'll be picking bits of teeth 
out of your hair for weeks. I'm not entirely sure what I was going for with this. It looks like it fires additional bouncing projectiles. It's definitely more powerful than the standard shotgun, but God knows where the projectiles will bounce to. Aiming is more of an optional extra. Hell yeah! Oh! Oh, man! I love the weapons! I love the writing on this game. It's classy. I will gladly keep playing this one. Bugs or no bu bugs. Okay, so we've still got a little bit left. I'm going to see if I can take the lifts down. We should explore. Anything up this way? The answer is no. Uh, yeah, I can't go that way. Alternatively. How long of a reload is that? It'd be nice if it actually gave me some seconds. Well, the rocket launcher doesn't seem bad. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, okay. Not dead. That was kind of dumb, though. Do I have enemies around? Oh, there's dudes down there. I don't know if I can get down to them without hurting, hurting myself. How did I even get up here originally? I swear I took a lift. Alright, I might not actually be able to, uh... I might actually be able to just get out of here. So let's go with that. I'd love to go check out that other place. But I can't seem to descend safely. Uh, so it's probably better that I just uh, play it safe and go for further. Yeah, this game has some kinks. Yeah, it's... Uh, really? It's got some kinks. The columnar jointing that falls to kind of imply that you can't go further will hit you. What does this do? Pinging beacons. DNA found two. Enemies killed... 31. Secrets discovered. 75. Okay. Melee enemy grenades to knock them back. Oh, that's a new one. Solar Scythe located. Munitions located. Oh, let's see. Read log. Whew. Okay, so I thought things might be a bit rough when I set out, but this is kind of chaos. You know how people say nothing could have prepared me for this? I literally died crash landing here, and I was still unprepared. I got here, though. It seems like things were calming down a bit, so I took the opportunity to set up a small camp and recuperate. Things currently working in my favor. I'm making progress. The beacon locator is actually working. I've stayed alive for two consecutive days. There are things to worry about, though. The landscape seems like it's changing as I get further from the ship. Those bugs were already o all over the place. But here? It looks like this is their territory. They don't just hang around here. They've actually started building. It might be a bit too strong of a word, but they sh they've they sure as hell... They're, sh uh, they're sure as hell doing something else. It seems like they've covered almost anything they can find in that luminous goo, almost creating basic structures. They need to stay on guard here. They seem territorial before. If this is their home turf, I can't imagine it's going to get easier. Okay, so we got some munitions, and we got some stuff. And it's getting a little hitchy as we go further. Oh, hey! There we go. Back up to full. Sweet trees! I think white text messes you up. It's a white, white text on a transparent background. Well, that kind of destroyed them. It also looks like there's a visual bug when I fire this gun. That yellow line shouldn't be there. It's it's probably like calling the um the projectile visual. That isn't quite working right. Wait. Do those rockets home? They might home in. Oh, he's still alive. I think the rockets actually home in a little. Oh, hi. I think they do home in a little bit, so I can do like sidewindery shots. Awesome. Okay, so we got munitions up ahead. Uh, can I go this way? 
Oh, it didn't look like I could go this way. Well, we've got a cave. So I should probably follow that instead. Holy! Yes! Okay, so rocket launchers can destroy those. That certainly makes my life a little bit easier. Are you... Really? Alright, guess I gotta use grenades from here on out. The rocket launcher can... Can destroy these. However, you gotta make sure that there aren't any parts in front of you. Otherwise, you just end up blowing yourself up, which kinda sucks. Can you rapid fire the rocket launcher? You kinda can. Tesla drone. Oh no, Tesla SMG. New weapon acquired. Prism Tesla SMG is more than a simple evolution of our Tesla line. To merely state that it improves upon fire rate, magazine capacity, and form factor. Well, true, would be doing it a disservice. A six round burst rifle mechanism combines special uh, tactical target acquisition of a single shot firearm with the stopping power of an automatic rifle. Add this to our tried and tested arcing Tesla ammunition, you'll find the Tesla SMG to be more capable and versatile than anything that's come before. Low damage, quick fire rate, high ammo capacity, and bounces between targets. Well, we ha also have that. Here's the question. Rocket launcher or... I'm gonna try that. Okay, and we also have uh, the Tesla drone. It is with great pride that we announce the introduction of the new Prism Tesla drone. Hot on the heels of our successful tester Tesla droid, the drone utilizes the same technology but in a completely autonomous package. Designed for personal security and area, area denial, the Tesla drone will emit bursts of electricity within a close proximity of its user. This basic behavior is bolstered by an ability to charge a more severe shock, which emitted should... Wait, which is emitted should a target remain within its firing range for a duration of more than four seconds. Okay, I'll take those. So, do we lose the, uh... Do we lose the rocket launcher? Yeah, let's lose the rocket launcher for now. Maybe? Main problem is it's uh, a bit risky to use with the debris. Hurting myself is not pleasant. So let's let's skip. Yeah, the frame rate feels just a bit choppy here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just turn it down to low for now. Hopefully it gets better as the game gets more optimized. Nope, that didn't really help it much. Ugh, looks awful too. Alright, back to medium. Let's try none on shadows. Okay, that's a bit smoother. We do have bugs below. I could drop down. There's that guy up there. Oh, I see. This is just a bonus area. Plenty of HP, and we also get the Magrail Handgun. Handgun has been unfairly maligned over its long and storied history. Too often it is overlooked in favor of something bigger or flashier, or that results in a greater amount of deadly explosions. For our MGV Mag Rail Handgun, we decided to drill down to the fundamentals of the classic pistol, to create something truly special, a handgun that stayed true to its roots, while encompassing the technological progress made since its original conception. The result is basically a more powerful pistol. Using our high-density metal of choice tungsten, the Mag Rail Handgun fires balls with incredible force, and achieves tremendous destruction on Im impact. The result is a weapon built on ancient foundation foundations that achieves modern results. Alright, so I got, I've got exploding balls. And I guess we're getting down here. I'm not sure... Okay. Well, I gotta admit... They're kind of fun to use. Okay, fortified DNA, that's pretty good. Stamina and... was that speed? I think? What is this thing? Can't do anything with it. I have no idea what it is. Okay. I think I got both of those munitions boxes. Unfortunately, this is the point in the, uh, the episode, uh, the stream, whatever where a tornado decided to roll through town. Now, normally I would just trash the footage, but honestly, I was actually having a lot of fun with this, and 
I don't want to just toss the footage, so I guess let's just treat this as an extended preview and then go from there. I, uh... I'm sorry that I have to do this on the first episode, but, like, I really like this game and I want to want to get out footage as soon as possible. And uh, with luck, I won't have any more tornadoes uh, interrupting my, my Beacon series. Uh, but rest assured, this will be, like, a full series. I, I really like this game. It's got some quirks. It's got some bugs we've seen. Uh, but overall, it's a really enjoyable uh, little roguelike. It's, once again, got the best level design I think I've ever seen. And, like, that's that's huge for me. Because roguelikes end up feeling really stale after a while. And this feels this feels like a legit game. Like, you could get rid of the procedural generation and just say, like, yeah, this is a linear experience. And I, I wouldn't even question it. Whereas, like, Binding of Isaac, yeah, okay, after a while I'd be like, huh, this is just a lot of rooms. I guess that's what the old Zelda games were like, too. I don't know. Whatever. I'm... I'm just talking at this point, but I really like this game, and I hope you guys did too. Uh, let's see. So, I don't know when the game's coming out, but like I said, there's a there's going to be a link to the Itch.io page in the description below. So, if you do want to pick this up uh, before it hits Steam, well, it's still in super early access. Uh, feel free to go there, and otherwise, I'll put I'll definitely put out a video when Beacon finally hits Steam. But that might not be for a little while. I don't know. Uh, they have no like determined release date, which is, uh, well kind of hard to report on but uh at least i get to play it now which is a good plan or plan good thing i don't know anyway uh so i guess if you if you guys liked this episode in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more i'm uh, going to be playing a heck of a lot more that's for sure so i guess with that see you guys next time and as always thanks for watching